Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people. Doni Omer here with another episode of Library of Ruina, Book Librarian Star and the City. So, uh, last time we captured Walter's page. Now we have uh, two people with an extra dice slot. Also, your shield seems like pretty, pretty strong. Uh, in this episode, I'll do the Yesod's Abnormality fight and I'll do a couple of general invites. It will be probably a little bit shorter episode. Uh, for more story, check back in tomorrow. No, not really sure if I'm gonna go left or right, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. So today we're gonna have a chill day. I will do the I will do the yes first then some general invites. I will check out my strategy a little bit. I have to like uh, also double check a couple of things. Anyhow, so for yes so uh, right, so we have the Roland here and Gabriella who has very strong double dice pages here. And I find the easiest way to like do this is, uh, so we got Mars and Walter, right? So I'm gonna go to Yesod, so Yesod, Yesod, okay, there you go, the floor of technological sciences. We're gonna equip them with those pages. So I found this to be the easiest way to like move things around. So just go here, unequip the, the Walter and equip it on, on, uh, on Yesod. And then we go here, unequip the Mars and put it on Reinhardt here. I'm using the uh, general floor usually because I just like the abnormalities very much. Right now the game is easy. Both pulsation and fervent beats really speed up the, the pace of fighting. You can really kill stuff fast. Also, it's only one of the two pages that I have that actually have three people right now, but that's gonna change. Anyhow, let's go into the Yesos abnormality fight here and let's see what's up. Will you enter the book of all around helper? Sure, that sounds helpful. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So we never know what's go what's up, but we don't have to use books to enter this. The helper bot can help you with any household hole chores. Oh, I know that little guy. It would. What kind of task do you want me to do? I can help with anything. Oh, and I know that little guy. It was spin. Blah blah blah. Okay. Contamination scan complete. Initiating cleaning pr protocol. This should not be difficult as long as we have clear information on that machine. Beep 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 beep. Contamination spotted. Proceeding with trash disposal protocol. Are we the trash? Is that what you're saying here? Well, let's see. Emotion level zero. Rest. A repetitive pattern. Recognition. Restore one light after dealing 10 or more damage in a single scene. Uh, okay. They're all the same. So these two are doing rest. It's a very, very weak card. And this one's doing charge. On use, gain four strength and one endurance next scene. Uh, wait, what? That's a pretty good card. Gain four strength and one endurance next scene. Mm. So there is a couple approaches I can do here, right? So this thing is weak to weak to blunt and normal to everything else. If I want to avoid this uh, problematic thing next scene, I can like stagger it. It would be expensive, but it would be possible. If I play two overpowers, that's already 10 damage, right? 15. Yeah, I can go up to 15 stagger here. And what else? Well, actually, I mean, she clashes, right? Like that. And this card is gone. And then he has free reign here. Well, she. Blunt is the best, right? So commandeering then? But then you're gonna clash, right? Nah. I can do it like this. Will this be enough to stagger though? Or could just go easy. Easy way. Mm -hmm. So we, we win? Well, we don't always win though. We only win 50% of the time. Alternatively, we could like go and bash these two. 
with co with course they will probably also like do the same thing next turn right so they either charge or rest so like if i stagger this one now and then next turn these two decide to charge then i'm in trouble right so instead i could just like ignore this thing which has a lot of defense and just go as much damage here i can on these two that's also like an idea Two to two. Well, Rampage hits most of the time. Everything's so expensive, though. They're weak to blunt. You do how much blunt? Two to four. You do four to eight. Uh, let's do like this. And then yeah, I don't have any more. Okay, let's go. Oh, only four? I rolled a four? Come on. Oh, five. Oh, that's nice. That also this still stagger damage, right? Right, right, right. Charge. Right. Right. Violence. Lower the minimum value of all dice by one and raise the maximum value by three. Upon successful blunt attack, inflict one bind and paralysis next scene. It includes mass attacks. Okay, upon successful blunt attack, inflict one bind and paralysis next scene. But this is pretty good. But I also like this one. I mean, because this on average gives you plus two, right? So who are we gonna give it to? Gabrielle, doesn't really matter. So this one now has plus four strength and yeah. So what are you doing? Clean. On hit, inflict one bleed next scene. So this will do 10 damage. A storm one light after dealing 10 or more damage in a single scene. Okay, it's not gonna deal 10, it's gonna deal nine. What is this damage type? It's slashing. You are actually enduring slashing, so it's only gonna be five damage. Okay, they're all doing clean. Interesting. The helper bot can help you with any household chores. Right. Well, I counter it quite nicely here. They attack the dude. Well, they both have... They're both enduring... Okay. So Mars and uh, Volter have really good chance against this fight. His, their pages. Because they're... Their attack is slashing, so... Okay. Uh, let's see. What can we do here to, like, maximize? Well, I can try this. It doesn't have big chance to succeed, but... Uh, it has some chance, and then after that, I uh, just do some nice damage. Yeah. Does it matter against which one we go? Probably not. Well, let's go here because this one does most damage. Oh no, actually, no, no, no. It has, it has four extra power, so it's gonna like roll a 10. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. And then, let me see. I could also deflect, inflict one paralysis next scene. Mm, doesn't really matter, but... What if I do this? How does that work out? So I clash here, and then this one gets a free hit, this one gets a free hit, I get a free hit. And then you can do whatever you want. Rampage. Did, did I give you the page? Right. Okay, I gave you this one. Right, right, right. Let's do Commandering. Let's go for this one. Will that enter me a clash? No. Listen up. Something like this. So I can stagger whoever I want next turn, right? Something like that. So this one should get a free hit and here we should clash. Oh no. We're clashing there. Like really? That's not good then. Why are we clashing here? That's not good. Oh, because, right. 
Like this then. So there should be like one clash alone. No, there's no clashes right now anymore. I removed all the clashes. Oh, there's one here. So this should be a clash. Retaliate against one of these and that should be it. Okay, let's go. Okay, and that's the clash, right? That kind of task do you want me to do? I can help you. Okay, clean. Uh, yeah. Okay, these are robots with slashing things. Dual dual lightsabers. Okay. Okay, we lost. Endured. Right, we take less damage from... Uh, right. Now let's get this one staggered. Bye bye. Here. So there should be no more clashes. Okay, where did this clash come from? Oh, actually, no, this is not a clash. So he gets a free hit on me. However, I retained the deflect from the firmer attack, so... Okay. There we go. Loosen up. One to nine. Oh, yeah, because we have that thing. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah, we're winning this easily, I think. Beep, 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 beep. Contamination spotted. Right. Okay. So this one does nothing. This one does charge. Okay, this one does charge. So if we can stagger this one, that would be really good. It's not really important, though. It's not really important. Uh, there. So you're going to clash it then. Um, so I want to clash it with something that... Let's clash it with that. Just the number one card. There we go. And then we do the real damage with something else. But we don't have enough points. Uh, like, can you mess it up? Probably. Maybe. This one doesn't do anything, that's fine. This one just rests, we just ignore it. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty successful. So next turn they're not gonna have anyone with that power thing. Yeah, this turned out to be quite well. Okay, now they're gonna go after me, right? No, this one rests. All right, because he was staggered and this one goes with clean. Okay, well, you are pretty strong, right? You can try to do it. Uh, so you clash and you can do guardian here like that and then go there. there we go. So, oh yeah, this happens first. Okay, bye bye. And then, yeah, four to nine against six, six. We, we might have a chance to defeat that. And we actually did because of the emotion thing. Yeah, pretty simple. Um, all the abnormality fights so far seemed very easy. Even the one I was totally not specced against. Yeah. Suppression of all around helper complete. Check your deal, whatever. Your book delivery is here. Tied, tied it up my clothes in the advance this time, too. Uh, oh, greetings, Angela's lapdog. Come on, still at it with that? The books you brought me last time were interesting, to say the least. I learned that the technologies employed in the back streets were interwoven in a disorderly matter. From crude equipment made of junk to clothes woven from antimatter, all kinds of technologies at various levels of advancement can be seen. There's cutting edge tech out there, but only few get to benefit from it. I assume wealth is the determining factor. We are in an era which rich people don't have to worry about any disease. We have all sorts of cures now, too. Granted, you have the cash to buy them. And then we have people playing God with those technologies called Singularities. What was Lobotomy Corpse Singularity, by the way? The corpse gone now anyway, so no one's gonna sue us for spilling the beans? Aren't you shameless? I suppose it would hurt to tell ya. Hey, stop treating me like an idiot. I'm not that stupid, you know? Lobotomy Corporation Singularity was physically manifesting the human mind, an abstract concept. 
Converting human emotions to physical energy in the same vein as the library. Human's emotions can be interpreted as a complex mass. That mass is built up through experiences, when emotions are heightened enough, a page will be chosen. A spot is reserved for a person's book, it is comprehensive manifestations of their ego. Now, this is pretty complicated, uh, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Working with emotions. Manif comprehensive manifestation of their ego. Right. Dangerous work, dangerous work. As the battle becomes fiercer and the combatants get agitated, the egos will grow intense and allow their mental states to be physically expressed. Physically? Manifesting the mind? Huh? So it's like, if mind, if your thoughts... Well, are your thoughts not physical already? Because they are like pulses of neurons. At least that's what we think, right? But basically this talks about turning thoughts, which are considered non-physical, into something physical, I guess. Basically conjuring things with your mind. Let's make it like that. <laughs> I'm gonna settle with that. Certainly seems similar to the distortion. What did you just say? Oh, nothing. Just a bit of monologue. Anyway, um, that sure sounds like a singularity, all right. Uh, impressive indeed. You know, makes me wonder. Malkut said you guys were part of a project that aimed to save humanity, right? That is true. What kind of saving was all that about, really? Make money rain from the sky or something? That saved everyone, for sure. I don't think that's how it works, Roland. If you make the money rain from the sky, all you get is inflation. But, uh, well, do move on. It can't be compared to such ridiculous nonsense. Yep, that's ridiculous nonsense indeed. And you have no right to talk so lightly about the sacrifices we made. Whoa, all right, calm down. Sheesh, can't even crack a joke around here. We sought to cure the mind. Carmen was the leader of our research team. Carmen? Okay. She said every person in the city has a diseased mind. And that the disease was so severe, humanity would slowly lead itself to self-destruction at this rate. Well, we're really good at it, aren't we? Yeah. She described the situation as no better than lemmings willingly jumping into a pit of fire. What? She smells a lot like a canned shady cult leader, according to my tingling fixer sense. And everyone agreed to what she said just like that? And now you're talking, taking me for a fool. Of course, there were quantitative indices to scientifically prove her claim. I suppose it would be useless to describe them to you in detail. Okay, Egghead, setting that aside. Did you guys succeed with that goal of saving humanity? You never cease to annoy me. If we succeeded, we wouldn't be here doing this. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, fair point. The fact that we failed to save humanity is not what makes me upset the most. We have committed countless sins. All in the name of a single righteous purpose, saving humanity. We convinced ourselves that we had no other choice. We performed unethical experiments and knowingly drove employees to death in Lobotomy Corporation. Really? So you cannot save people? What if you play really well? I'll have to try it. We tolerated all those wild deeds for a greater good. But all of that is about to be for that. What will be made of their sacrifices? All the pain me and my colleagues endured. Angela ruined it all! Wait, what? Angela? How does Angela get into all of this all of a sudden? Okay, of course. Huff Huff, disciplinary team, Sephira, Gebura. Okay, another robot flashback, I guess. Fatigued already? What a shame. My employees and I are up for more. Extraction team, Sephira, Bina. Don't be ridiculous, I'll kill you for sure this time. Bina, ne, not even you will manage to break through our combined effort. Oh, that's Yasut. You raise a valid concern. It is true, even I can't stop all of you in such a short time. So they were uh, at each other's throats. Okay, Bina and the others. You will need to act quickly, Angela. Oh, Bina and Angela were a team. And they went against the, the other ones, which are now librarians. Interesting. Bina, Bina, Bina. 
I was just about to do something about it. Lobotomy Corporation headquarters. Uh, I don't see anything. Ah, oh, shucks. The only post deterrence is being lowered. She's overriding my authority on the system. The abnormalities are breaching. <laughs> All Sephiroth and personnel, please follow my lead. The control team will be in command now. Hokma and the architecture team, please stop Angela from taking over all the systems. Hokma, understood. Kibura and the disciplinary team, please keep Ina at bay. Okay, so there was a fierce fight, it seems like it. Kibura, you bet, leave this to me. Hold and training team, provide the employees with the right manual and information. There we go. Attention to all employees, this is type X emergency protocol. Oh, that's a different one. Oops. I have no more voices. Even this one suck. Anyhow, let's continue. Please act accordingly to the following instructions. Nietzsche in the safety team, please focus on treating the wounded. The wounded? You mean the damaged? Nietzsche. All right, I'll try to take care of him as quickly as I can. Yesod and the information team, please identify to the weaknesses of the escaping abnormalities right away. Yesod, I will analyze them with all the utmost precision. Chest and the welfare team, please work on restoring the Oquilopot deterrence as soon as possible. So Malkut, going all bossy here, telling everyone what to do. Will do. This is one is my fault after all. No time to feel guilty, cheese. Deferred and the central command team, please support everyone with your resourcefulness. Deferred. I was gonna, no need to say it. It brings me joy to see you all act in such coordination. Now, try and stop us till the end. You will never understand how we desperately struggled to stop her from snuffing out our light. And the guilt we feel from compromising at the end. You're right, I won't. All I care about is helping Angela. I want her to achieve her goal, you know. So you simply want the results, whatever the process may entail. Well... You're no different than Angel and that you can only care about your own well-being. You're despicable, a typical example of an inhabitant of the city, suffering from the disease of the mind. Well, it's not, it's not uh, his fault he's sick. Like, why do you judge us? We are, we are ill, we need help. Why are you judging us if we have a disease? You use the technologies of the city he has to offer for your immediate convenience, convenience, not knowing or caring about the sacrifices those technologies were built upon. Not knowing that you're bringing about your own demise. Oh, so that's what the whole disease mind thing was about. I should value the process more than the result. Heh, you were a bunch of dreamers and snobs all along. I bet you're from one of those nests. Look, I know better than anyone about the price of those technologies and singularities. Oh, do you, Roland? Tell us your story. Diseased? Oh yeah, I think we read about his family story. It wasn't a very nice one. I forgot about it already, but it was not pleasant. Diseased mind my ass, or was that somebody else? I don't know. In your point about people using singularities without knowing how they really work, that's because they literally have no other option. The corporates have concealed so much the consumers eventually gave up inquiring. Because they are tired, they are already too busy sustaining their everyday life. It appears that I'm not getting through to you. Oh, what a coincidence, I was thinking the same thing too. No matter what you say, I do not want to turn a blind eye to this reality, nor conform to it. Right. Okay, floor of technological sciences realization level up, one assistant library is awoken, you can now have access to new abnormality pages, the motion level threshold has increased to level 3. A new assignment has been added, cool. So let's see, what do we get? Recharge. However, the limbs were equipped with sharp instruments instead of cleaning supplies. Single ally, if the librarian has maximum light at the start of a scene, gain 1 to 2 haste and deal plus 2 to 7 damage with attacks for that scene. Okay. 
Uh, I don't think that's super strong. Maybe. Depends how important haste will be later. Uh, but 2 to 7 damage doesn't seem that much. I mean... Yeah, I think the most important thing is winning the clashes and then if you get some extra damage in that's nice but I'm really like my strategy always is like win as many clashes as you can stagger the enemies and then finish them up basically I'm not playing to maximize damage I'm playing to minimize my own uh, income damage repetitive pattern recognition so in that terms this doesn't do much it's also a tier 2 so the day I was sent to a new home for the first time I gave them the gift they wanted so earnestly. Every time, after every free clash wins, restore one light and gain one to two haste next scene. Um, that's hard. Winning free clashes, it's hard. Clean. It recognizes a bad mood as a sign that the surroundings are dirty and promptly enters cleaning mode. Single ally. Offensive dice gain power against enemies with slower speed. Plus one power per point of difference, up to three. Okay, this is pretty good. I like this one. So this one actually helps me win clashes. So offensive dice gain power against enemies with slower speed. Plus one power. So if you are up to free speed faster, okay, that's really good. I like this one. Yeah. Still not sure if it's as good as the other ones, but so what? We now have these three. We have violence. Violence. I I respect violence. It's a good one. Blunt dice gain 1 to 3 power, speed is fixed at 1. Okay. So far this one's my favorite one, but if the fight ever gets longer, get longer, this one will fall off. This one's also pretty good. I never use this one. I like offensive dice more. But I don't know. If we have a very slow, strong slash enemy, we can place cars, I guess. Okay. Um. Right. Uh, so we said we're gonna do some general invites right now. Uh, okay. So let's see. We are the rank of urban legend. Right. So there's a lot of. So we had three things here and two more. Hmm. So before it was like, like bam, one here and two more and then we became a legend and now we already did three and we're still at this rank, so it slows down a little bit it seems, urban myth. Okay, let's do some general invites, well one of them actually, uh, invitation, okay, let's use the book of something to see if that works, and let's see, I have... I did have a lot of, well, I have a lot of these, right? Hook office remnants, okay, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Urban mid class syndicate. Urban mid class syndicate. Okay, let's go like this then, I guess. Um, well, before we do that, though, I, let's equip these dudes back. So, Roland. Gonna go with Mars Page again. And Gabrielle, you're gonna go with Walter's Page. There you go. And you, you are still Lulu's Page. Okay. Mars, Lulu, and Walter. It would be better if it was. Uh, who? Sun? Yeah, but Walter's better, so. Okay, let's do some general invites here. Which one is easier to get? Okay, this one also works. Book of Sun works. How about a guide to District 23 also works? Can I use these two? Probably easier to get. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Anyhow, let's send the invitation and see what we're up against. Grade 6 fixers? No, 877. That's not too bad. Yeah, okay, crush. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have much problem here. Slash stagger damage, pierce stagger, pierce stagger damage plus two. Okay, slash stagger damage plus two. Okay, this should be a walk in the park. Famous last words, right? I don't think so, we have five dice, they have only three.
Okay, uh, you are doing what? Standoff. 1 to 6, 3 to 5. Okay, I can counter that with all power. There we go. More or less. You. Okay, both of you are going here. Uh, what are you doing? 3 to 6, 3 to 5. Uh, let's try retaliate it here. I want to see something. 3 to 6, 3 to 5. Okay, let's do our power. We have one dice left. I can do loosen up to get some light back, which will probably good be a good idea. Probably going to be a good idea. Uh, so somebody who's weak to blunt. Capable great 7 fixer. Ordinary great 8 fixer. Okay, this one has... This one endures everything. So this he's probably the, the last target here. Oh, I just intercepted that. I don't want to intercept that. Uh, normal. So, we just go for him then. Too bad. What if I go deflect instead? So for this one... This one weak to slash. Well, this one has some slash. It will also do some paralyze, but the first thing is wasted, though. I, I think I'm just overthinking this, to be honest. Oh, wait, what? Why can't I go? There we go. Okay, the interface was in the... Oh, really? Why does it be like that? Let's go here then. Sure. Our power. He rolled a free. Good. Okay, we lose this one. Five to six. Alright. This one. Is anyone's. Okay, now, if we win this one, right? Shouldn't like continue to crush? Hmm, well, we didn't win it though. I'm pretty sure like that thing happened and it didn't work as I expected it. Bonus stagger damage, scars, less damage from slash attacks, urging. Yeah, let's go pale hands, uh, probably here. The hands are waiting for someone to hold them, would you grant their wishes? Well, everyone has their own fight here to do. They're doing some more crush. Crash. Inflict two bleed next scene. Okay, we are bleeding a little bit, but it's not really a huge deal. I mean, I can do overpower here. Yeah, let's do guardian as well. There we go. Who has pale hands though? You do. Um. I'm gonna go commandeering here and then deflect. And then finally two of you is gonna clash. One to six, two to three. Let's do commandeering. Oh, you rolled really well. Well, above average. Slightly above average. So did I though. So did I. Ugh, that's a max roll. Wait, what? They both dealt damage? Get, get. Yeah, already one of them is staggered. Two of them staggered. Okay. I think the pale hands triggered here. <laughs> Total and utter destruction. Pulsation, go. Okay, what are you doing? One to eight. Let's do it like this. And then like that. Commandeering. Our power. Oh, you can also play the guardian. No. You can play another one. I don't know. Here. Whatever. Psst. 
So Ian Dur really did a lot of work on that roll. So I guess I was a little bit lucky with those. Yeah. I I I'm sorry. Wait, what happens if I click that? Okay. Well, how does it go? Space, B, space. Yeah, and there. <laughs> okay, cool. Victory. Curtain call for the reception of Ur Urban Legend class office. Urban... Oh, they were the Urban Legend class office? Same as me? Didn't feel like it. Ah... Uh, I'm so gonna regret these harsh words, words, words if I ever get into the position where things are not doing so well for me. Okay, let's see. Did we get any good new books? Great Seven Fixer. Uh, okay, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, we got some more Lulus here, but... Volters. Wait, what? There are more, more Walters pages available. I almost missed that. Well, I definitely want more Walters pages. Well, I can grab one more here. So we can have two Walters then in the team? Uh, I think Walters really strong. I think it's uh, probably stronger than Marsh, to be honest. Maybe, depending on how the fights go, maybe he's not, but uh, I think your shield is really strong ability. Did we get just get two of them? Yeah, but there's another thing why you need, like, Mars. Uh, sure, I have three librarians now, but later I'm gonna have more. But this is very exciting. Now, uh... Mm. Yui. Okay, I'm gonna save the setup as. Uh, Alters page 2. There we go. And I'm just gonna remove it here. There you go. Sorry, Alulo, but you got outclassed a little bit here. Uh, okay, set favorite. There we go. Equip. There we go. Uh, load. Load. There we go. Now, this is a bit expensive, right? So let's see what do you have. Okay, we got... Well, it's a very similar, actually. This one's actually cheaper. Wait, what? Why did... Why was this one cheaper? That's not right. Okay. What do we have? Two guardians. Three guardians. So three guardians, deflect, two overpowers, and a mix. What if I give everyone this? How many guardians do I have? I like guardian. I think it's pretty good. Really enables the, the commandeering nicely. And the retaliate, I guess. So if you play three guardians, will they get all get plus three to endurance? That would be a really nice tactic, wouldn't it? Also, this one also has the flect on it. Interesting. Okay, let's save this setup as an uh, experiment. There we go. Okay, load experiment. Yes. And you... Uh, load experiment. Okay. Now they all have the same deck, so we are running Retaliated, Rampage and Commander Inc. as number 3 is our power. 
Although, pff, I think Guardian's probably better. Are there any cards like Guardian which gives one power? This is what I want. <laughs> I think this is broken, the page draw. But yeah, I guess. This is nice. I like these filters. Um, singleton, what's singleton? I don't know yet. Charge. What's charge? Smoke. Okay, what I want is strength, right? Gain two strength next scene. Ooh, two strength. Interesting. Let's try. There we go. Cool. <laughs> uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go here. Let's go books. Taxes, taxes. Uh, Master Girl license. And free man. Okay, we read all of that. Okay, we read all of these. Mars, Lulu, Lulu's friend, Sun. Mm. Bistro. Canard. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, these dudes were interesting, but like, not much happened out of it. And their pages are not really that strong, so we're not never using them. I don't know. Deals plus one stagger damage. I mean, uh, Mars is not weak to blonde, so that's really good. But I still prefer defensive dice power plus one. I mean, I pretty much do. Okay, let's go free Volters here and see how that turns out. Uh... No, you dropped the Mars page. No. Uh... So this is the only thing that gives strength. I think strength is really good. Okay. This might be a little bit expensive for two dice decks though, but we'll see. I think next I'll drop Rampage. I'm not seeing myself often playing this one. Very rarely I play this one, but this is when we need pure damage, right? But even then, this is 8 to 14, and this is like 7 to 12, so it's not even that much weaker. Plus it gives me a nice effect. This does a lot of bleed though. Yeah, I think this is the weakest card probably around here. This is good because it gives par paralyze. This is good because it gives strength. This is amazing because it gives endurance, which is great for commandeering, deflect, and retaliate. And this one actually. Okay. Uh, right. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. And in the next episode, we're gonna go and do this thing here. So yeah, if you're interested in what this is. Um, well, check back in tomorrow. We have all of these books, so we can do it. Should be fun. Anyhow, uh... anyhow, if you're enjoying this, uh, I would be very happy if you like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Neomer signing out. Bye bye.